All right, in this video, we're gonna do the section view of the tool holder project. So we've already drawn out the multi views in chapter four, chapter five, we dimensioned, chapter seven, we did an isometric, and now finally, chapter eight, we're gonna do a section view. In order to do this, I'm gonna start off with uh, the cutting plane line in the top view. So I'm gonna zoom into the top view. Now I need to create a layer for that cutting plane. I'm going to come into my layer properties and I'll create a new layer. This one we'll just call it cutting plane. And the line type, we need to change that to be dashed x2. So I don't have that in my list here. I'm going to have to click on load and I'll scroll down till I see one called dashed um, x2. There we go. Say OK. Now I've added that that loaded dashed x2 as a line type that I can choose in this drawing, but I do need to set it current, click OK. And then also we need to change the line weight. So remember uh, visible lines are supposed to be 0.6 and pretty much everything else dimensions and hidden lines and center lines, those are all 0.3. I'm gonna set my cutting plane line to be 0.6. So there's really only three layers that you're gonna have that are gonna be a 0 0.6. Those are gonna be your visible layer, your cutting plane line, and your border. So now that I've created that, I need to set that one current. It really doesn't matter what color you choose. You could choose any color that you'd like. We're gonna plot in black and white, so any color would be fine for your cutting plane line. So now that we've got the cutting plane layer set current, I wanna show you a few different ways. So you know we have to have the arrowhead on the cutting plane line, and basically that arrowhead is gonna to point to the half of the object that we're looking at or that we're looking into once we do that section. So it has to have those arrowheads on it. There's three different ways you can do an arrow in AutoCAD. Um, first of all, I'll show you uh, my least favorite way <laughs> is to do a polygon. You could make it three sides and you could choose an option here. I'm going to hit F8 to make it perfectly straight, but that just draws a triangle. Then I can hatch that triangle with a solid hatch. Now I can draw a line out from the bottom midpoint. Oops, I still have my isometric snap on. If that happened to you, we'll just click down here to turn off the isometric snap. Put us back into rectangular snap. There we go. So technically, that is an arrow. Um, a couple of other ways that you can do an arrow is you could use a polyline. When you click to start that polyline, ooh-wee, look how wide that thing is. <laughs> Anytime that happens to you, we just have to come in here and adjust the width of it. So yours may not be as crazy wide as mine. I'm not quite sure why it's that wide, but you can type W for width, and you can set, what I'd like to do is really set that to zero for the starting width, zero for the ending width, and that just brings it back to being just a regular line. What I'm gonna do though is start the polyline command again, do that same thing, click a start point, type W, enter. We're gonna make the starting width zero, and we're gonna make the ending width, and we can kind of play around with this and see what we want the ending width to be, but maybe like a 0.25. Um, that actually looks a little bit on the big side, but you get the idea. We can, um, now we're drawing a line and that line itself is gonna start at zero. It's gonna end the thickness of 0.25 or a width of 0.25. Since it ended at that width, the next line segment is gonna start at that width. So we can type in W, enter, and type in zero for the starting width, enter zero for the ending width, enter and then we've got this so we could come in here continue to draw and this is one long line segment that just happens to have an arrowhead shape at the top so that's a very popular way to do it definitely that 0.25 was way too big so if you look in proportion here we don't want a giant arrowhead we don't want it so big that it's just taking up the whole entire page or overwhelming the, the drawing um, so let's see, one more way that we can do it is we can do it as a leader, a multi-leader. 
So we can click anywhere to start that leader. And notice I don't see anything until I pull it out to be a certain length. It's just too short of a line for that arrowhead to appear. And click wherever you want to start or stop. Now it wants me to add text. We can just close out the text editor, not put text in it. And this is an arrowhead. The nice thing about this one is you can always go in and right click, go to properties, and you can change that arrowhead size. So if I wanted to make that a 0.25, notice my arrowhead size got bigger. It's also a nice one because it's the same proportions as the arrowheads that you have in your dimensions. The drawback is it's so narrow that when we set our line weight to 0.6, I'm going to turn my line weight on just so you can see. We've got it set to that line weight. Once I turn my line weight on, it's, it's very... There, there's not much of a difference as, you know, as far as the width of the arrowhead and the thickness of that line weight. So there's pros and cons. Another nice thing is you can always come in here and adjust the size of it again. Uh, let's make that, let's see, 0.3. Um, you can always adjust the size of it, but the width of the arrowhead itself is still kind of narrow. So you can choose whichever one you want to use. There's no right one or wrong one to use. I like to use, I'm going to turn off that line weight button down here. I like to use the polyline, and I, I think that's probably one of the more popular ways to do it. Um, so when I start it, I'm going to click somewhere over here. Um, we'll just kind of click up here. I'm going to type W for width, and starting width is zero. Enter the ending width. 0.25 was a bit too much, so let's try like a 0.18. Yeah, I think that looks really good. So just click wherever you think it should go. And remember, since I had an ending width of 0.18, that's the beginning width of my next line segment. So I'll type W, enter again, set it to zero, enter, zero, enter. So it's gonna start at zero and end at zero. And now we're just gonna kinda draw it. It needs to go straight through the center. I, I started my arrowhead too far down, but that's fine. And I'm going to take it right around to the midpoint, which is right around here. And I'm going to press enter. So notice I've got the arrowhead. <clears throat> uh, it's got that dashed pattern to it. I'm going to go ahead and move this arrowhead to the, to the center. It should be going right down the middle of this thing. Now what I'm going to do is the mirror command. So several ways that you can do this. I'm choosing the mirror command just because I, that way I don't have to draw this arrowhead. Ooh, not that angle. <laughs> mirror, select it, press enter, select kind of uh, your, your first point of the mirror line, and then you're going to draw a perfectly vertical line. And no, we don't want to erase the source object. So this is good. And uh, yeah, so you could make this a little bit shorter if you wanted to. Um, we can adjust this arrowhead size if we wanted to, just so that it's not crossing through that line over here, not crossing through the line. We want to make it even. Whatever we do, we want the arrow to be the same size on both sides. All right, that looks really good. So we've got the cutting plane line done. And now we're gonna come down here. Remember when we do a section view, we have no uh, um, hidden lines. So our hidden lines are gonna turn into visible lines. This is super easy to do. Just select them, change them to the visible layer. And we need to get rid of anything that got cut off. And so if I look at the isometric view, if I cut this thing down the middle, I don't see this line anymore. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this line. And as I cut this thing through the middle, I don't see this edge of that arc or that circle anymore, which is what I'm seeing, this line right here. So I will trim. And we'll just bring this all the way back because I'm seeing straight into the middle of this. Now, what I need to do is We're going to create another layer if we don't have it already. I don't. Uh, we're going to create another layer called Hatch. And 
and again the color doesn't really matter it can be any color that you'd like the line type this definitely needs to be um, continuous we don't want our hatch to have a pattern to it and we're going to set the line weight to default default is 0.28 which is close to that 0.3 so sometimes when you see it at default it's okay to leave it there so we've created that we're going to set it current and let's go ahead and start the hatch command we're going to let it hatch at ANSI 31 which is the default hatch that AutoCAD does and we'll just click here and we'll click here press enter to end the hatch command and that's it we have just made a section view really really straightforward so we just drew a cutting line with the arrowheads on it in the top view changed some hidden lines to visible lines and we um, put in a hatch pattern so and took out a couple of extra lines but super easy to do super straightforward and that's it you're done with the hatch you're done with the isometric you're done with the section view you're done with the dimensions you're done drawing out all the views finally we're done with this project at this point this is when you would hand in the project for your final grade